3rd of July. And uh, these are the charts of the day. Well, happy uh, 4th of July tomorrow, everybody. So we have the day off. But take a look at what happened today. Uh, first of all, ACHR, which has been in a downtrend from 7 down to 3, which took about six months to develop. Uh, recently popped and then pulled back and tested the moving averages, which crossed over. And today, a massive breakout. 16.5 million shares, jumping 17%. And that the highest close since the beginning of April, now looking like it wants to be a five and a half dollar stock. Secondary target is seven. AEYE popped out. We've been following this closely. It had a bullish engulfing reversal day due to moving averages through price resistance. Minor resistance and target is 23.45. Secondary target, 26 and a half. AGQ, the silver ETF, popped, may have popped out today and broke out. Declining top line going back uh, several weeks now. And wave one, two, three, four um, indicates to me that this may very well, if we do get through and follow through and get through 4170, we might see um, mid to high 40s on the next leg. AIR, after pulling back for a couple of days, turned around yesterday and today followed up with the gain and the highest close we've seen in the stock since way back here in 2020. And this was a reverse split anyway, so that actually didn't occur. For me, now I'm looking at an angle of ascent that takes us. To five fifties. AU in the gold sector, I like this one a lot. It's one of my favorites, and it's a long-term play for me. And I like the stock to thirty and then thirty-four-five. CENX broke out today and backed off. We put a swing on it. I like the overall look. I'm targeting twenty-four and twenty-eight. It might be thirty though. One, two, three, four. Fifth wave underway. ENVX after a long downtrend, I saw it go from the mid twenties down to the mid single digits. Popped with a breakaway gap from the wedge and this stirs up its way higher. The current wedge snapped back today for $1.13 or about 8%. Volume was 6.4 million. If we can get it going here, my next target is going to be around 1819. EXK in the silver sector breaking out of a flag after a one, two, three, four. I think you, if silver does take off, this might very well be a play that takes it into the five and a half, six range. FCX copper stock break broke out too across multi week declining tops line. I need to get a follow through. Next target is 54, 58, 61. Jemiah broke out of a falling wedge and popped. Didn't close great. But I say if it gets above today's high 830, I'd be looking for 10 and a half and then 13. And with gold going up, the J Nug popped out of a wedge today. And after a 1, 2, 3, 4, looking to me like we're headed towards a retest of at least 44.5 and then high 40s. Cost for the monster day today, breaking out of a long multi week falling wedge, literally exploded from 470 to 1873, more than 300% before backing off. What a day! 71 million shares. Unheard of. Big squeeze, thinly traded. AUGT, along with the JNUG, I did the same thing and popped out and it's closed above the 50. I'm now looking for 44 and 49. SMR, nice flag pattern in here above the prior high. A good sign it wants to go higher. Here's a stock that's gone from under 2 to over 12 and doesn't look done yet. I'm not going to be shocked when we move into the mid teens. With Tesla running, the TSLL, TSLR. TSLT, all three ETFs fly, flying on the order of 13 to 14% each, and a key breakout into blue sky territory. However, it's extended short term, having gone up for seven days in a row. So that's it for the uh, charts of the day at thetechtrader.com. Have a great 4th of July, everybody. I'll talk to you again Friday morning. Bye now.